There will be a lot of people out there being introduced to crypto who may not know a lot about uh, the Cardano blockchain and, and what it brings uh, to the table. So we just very simply lay out what is Cardano. Sure. So I tend to think about Cardano in terms of cryptocurrency generations. So I think that's the easiest way for new people to understand it. So usually that stems around what problem are you trying to solve and who are you trying to solve it for? So the goal of Bitcoin was to say, could we have a ledger that's decentralized and it's like email for money. I just push a button and push value to different people. Uh, the next generation, which started in about 2013, was the smart contract revolution where we said, hey, we need programmability with these ledgers. So it's not just about pushing only Bitcoins around. We want smart contracts. We want the ability to decide DeFi and NFTs and all these other things. But almost immediately after they came out, people realized that we had three sets of problems that were very hard to solve and they required a new generation. So one was scalability, one was interoperability, and one was governance. So on the scalability side, you know, Ethereum is very expensive to operate. So people wanted a situation that as you gain users, you had the same resource cost per user. Like BitTorrent has this, more people download the movie, the faster you get the movie. More people that use the cryptocurrency, the slower it gets, the more expensive transactions get. So it's not scalable from that perspective. Interoperability is that you have hundreds if not thousands of blockchains and you have lots of legacy infrastructure like banks and all these other things and they all have to talk to each other it's like wi-fi you need a wi-fi moment and then governance that is okay well how do you upgrade these products when you think of a product you have like apple to the iphone or windows to microsoft or something like that so you look to microsoft you say what's the next version of windows you look to apple what's the next iphone well these are complex protocols so how do you upgrade them if they're decentralized who's the company it's supposed to be decentralized. So you need a governance layer to be able to sort out forks and treasury management and upgrades and these types of things. So the third generation really covered that. Now there's a rich class of protocols in it like Cardano, Aptos, Sui, Solana. And uh, we're about midway through that generation and we're making great strides.